Hello guys, so now let's just start working on our this Flutter Android and iOS open AI course. As you know that we will develop the virtual assistant, more smart, intelligent virtual assistant than the Apple Siri and than the Amazon Alexa. Okay, our virtual assistant is much more smarter than Siri and Alexa. And as you know that we will, uh, you can say we will name, we are calling our virtual assistant Friday. So as you know that the virtual, that is the question answers which you ask or the essays or the stories which Friday will create according to, I mean, when you, whatever you tell to the virtual assistant, it will just answer your question. If you ask her about a story to create for you, then she will create a story for you. If you ask her about an essay, she will create an essay for you. Or even if you want to do some question answer session with Friday, then she will answer any of your question. So that feature, as you know, that feature we will develop using the OpenAI chat GPT. However, the image generation where basically you tell your imagination to Friday and Friday then draw image according to your imagination. That thing we will basically implement using the OpenAI uh, Dell E API. So we will use purely the OpenAI. So anyways, let's just start work on our project. Let's just create a brand new Flutter project. Just click on new Flutter project. Make sure that Flutter is selected. Then click next. And here we have to give name to our project. So let's call it Friday underscore virtual underscore assistant. Friday virtual assistant. Okay, and remember the name of your Flutter project must be in small English alphabets. Do not give any space. Instead of space, you can use this underscore. Okay, just like this. So Friday Virtual Assistant is our project name. And as you know, we are developing it for the Android and iOS. We will uncheck the Linux, Mac OS, web and Windows. Just checked and Android and iOS. Here you can see this description. If you want, you can change this. That is write some description about this project. So you can say that this is a open AI Flutter project let's say using chat gpt and del e okay and then here you can see your organization basically according to this your flutter project package name or you can say the uh, id the application id will create according to this so the best practice is that is professional people i mean professional developer what they do is here they have to provide your website or let's say if you do not have a website then you can write your name for example i can simply give it na my name that is com dot muhammad ali okay let's say your name is john so you can just type com dot john or let's say if your name is Steven, then you can write com.steven and so on. So my name is Muhammad Ali, so I just type com.muhammad Ali. Okay, then check Android iOS and then click create. So it is now creating the project. My project is creating on my desktop as you can see. And it has been created successfully as you can see that. So now here from here make sure that project is selected okay and then in here we have this lib now inside this lib we have our default mentor dot file basically a default code but we do not need this default code of course we will modify it in a while first of all let me tell you this is our android module and this is our ios module for the ios app and of course this one is for the android app and then here we have a pubspec.yml file basically where we write our packages that we will use in our this project or you can say the dependencies which we will use in our this project we will add that in here or let's say if we use any assets then we will also add that in here so step by step we will go okay don't worry about anything if you are a totally beginner in flutter then don't worry of course and those who are experienced in flutter please cooperate okay because many students are new so i'm explaining 
in details for them okay so yeah let's just proceed so now first of all inside our menda dot what we need to do is we do not need this default code okay which is close my home page just minimize this code okay and also my home page start just like this and then remove this next thing we need to do is basically also we need to remove these comments then we have to name this as uh, flutter let's call it openai openai virtual assistant or so on whatever you name it okay openai chat gpt or you can say del e so then comes our first page right click on lib new and let's create a new directory or you can say a new package package simply means a new folder okay and we will give this name as screens and press enter so screens folder is created now right click on screens new and then dot file and we will give it name as a uh, home underscore screen so inside the screens folder our home screen dot dot file is created we will import the material dot dot and this will be our stateful widget so let's create stateful widget we will give it them as home screen we do not need this so you can simply remove that for now we will just add here a scaffold widget just like this and then what we need to do is we will just add an app bar and then in the app bar we are going to set a title and we will we are just going to check either the project which we created for the flutter using flutter for the android and ios either it is created successfully or not that is if it is working or not okay so just for the testing purposes we have created our this home screen okay and on the home screen here now we will just display a message that is hello world okay so on in the app bar basically it will show us like the text which is hello world if there is this const modifier by default you have to remove it okay so just like this so now uh yeah we have to add uh, that is from here our app will starts basically so our app will starts of course first it starts from the main okay so what we do is here we need to the first screen we want to display is basically the home screen okay so we can simply call it here the home screen So we want our app that is we want our flutter project to first display the home screen and as you know that for now just for the testing purposes in the app bar we are displaying this text which says hello world and come back here to the main dot, dot here in the word man we can simply say widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialize we want to make sure that widget flutter binding is initialized and yeah we are ready to test the application so now you can simply test your application on the emulators that is on your ios simulator or android emulator for example from here you can open up the android emulator and then click the play button in order to install the app on your emulator or simulator but i will suggest to test your application always on your real android smartphone or on your real iPhone so I'm going to connect my real phone and I'm going to install the app on it so my phone is connected I'm going to install the app on it so the app is running now and here we go here you can see we have our first screen which is basically the home screen and we have only an app bar which says hello world in the title as you can see that also we do not need this banner this debug banner so what we need to do is here above the home we can say debug show check mode banner and set this to false so what it will do is it will basically remove that banner from there as you can see now